Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, and today Samson's here. He's decided he wants to stand here and watch me do my makeup, putting his paws on the counter. So I thought I'd let him say hi because he is such a cute little boy. Such a cute little boy. Everybody should have a dog like him. Okay, I'm going to put him down. You might hear him clicking around a little bit. Today we are doing the Juvia's Place Sahara 2 Eyeshadow Palette. I did a look the other day in a full review. It looks like this. I'm still getting used to my new camera angle area, so hopefully you are seeing this. Yes! So I noticed in my last video, like I was only getting part of the palette half some of the time, and I don't, you know, I want you to see all of it. Today I'm going to do a more brown tone look. Um, so we're going to use, you know, the brownie colors that are in here. There's quite a few. That does not mean a natural look because a lot of these are their super glitter formula, which I love and you need to get best results with, you apply with your finger. So I've already done a light layer of foundation. I did not do my concealer yet. I tend to wait to do my concealer on the highly pigmented shadows until after I've done, you know, the top eyeshadow, just to make sure I don't end up with a mess under my eyes that looks like hell. This palette does not have a base shade for me in it. It is made by women of color for women of color, so of course, well, for everyone, but still, they geared it towards women of color. So it doesn't have a base shade that works for me. That's okay because I have like a zillion base shades that work for me, including this very nice one here in my For Real Herb, or Real Herb 2 palette. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. So I have a base shade down. Now it's time for the real star of the show, this palette right here. I am going to go into this lighter kind of reddish brown right here and I'm going to put that in my outer corner. And to get it, I am simply going to tap my brush like so. If you swirl your brush in there, you're going to end up with kick up everywhere and shadow you don't need. Did I mention my dog's a thief? He's stealing things off the counter. He likes to steal my makeup brushes. Okay, so I have that in my outer corner um, and in my crease a little bit. Now I'm going to take this darker brown right over here and I'm going to deepen up my crease and I'm just going to use my smaller brush for that. So now I'm going to take this um, red foiled color right here. And I'm going to put that in the center of my lid using my finger. These foil shades are just amazing. And I'm just blending that in a little bit so that it isn't such a harsh line. I'm going to grab a clean brush and I'm going to pick up this beautiful color in here. I looked it up. It's called Aziza. Um, it's the one I remember. And it's kind of a highlight shade. It is super pigmented and beautiful. It has some really nice reflect to it and I love it on my inner corner and brow bone. I'm going to put on my concealer. As you see, no fallout when you tap your brush off and only use a little bit of that product. It doesn't really have a lot of fallout, but it's one of those things you just kind of got to keep an eye out for. Put on my concealer and now I'm just going to grab a teeny, teeny, tiny little brush right here. This one's by Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to grab um, some of this dark brown right here and line my eyes with this. And then for the inner corner, I'm just going to use that real light color Aziza again. Because, like I said, I just love that color. I think, you know, it looks beautiful. So I'm just going to take this apricot color and I'm going to sort of put it right here on my lower lash line. I'm going to take some neutral blush. And 
And then I'm gonna take that Aziza, I love it. Seriously, it's like one of my new favorite highlights. Uh, I think it's just stunning as a highlight. I'm also using it on my brow bone. This is my Smashbox Mom Squad lipstick. Uh, it's one of my favorites. After I got it, I was just like, oh, love it. I don't know how I lived without it. And now I'm just gonna put on a little mascara and eyeliner. I am going to go with a gold eyeliner today. Um, I think this really brightens up the whites of your eyes. It looks really pretty. So I'm just gonna use my Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I think my tube of this is pretty much dead, so I'm tossing that. It's now empty. And I'm gonna use my Lip Did to finish this up, cause yeah, I hate it when mascara dies. So basically, that is my look for today. Um, I, I went with a much simpler look today than I did the uh, first look with this because I think showing multiple looks with it is really important. And the fact that, you know, not all of them have to be over the top and take forever. This one is really fast and easy and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, once again, this is the Saharan 2 eyeshadow palette by Juvia's Place. Do not confuse it with the Sahara 2 blush palette. There is a Saharan 2 eyeshadow palette now and a Saharan 2 blush palette now. Um, I think that's a little confusing. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm a little confused by that. I don't know why they didn't give them different names. I wish they would have simply to keep it straight when I'm saying it so I know I'm saying the right thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. But they are totally different. They look totally different. So if you're like here about one or the other, this is the blush palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. They are all stunning. There's no question about that though. I mean, any of them are just beautiful. I love the Saharan, all of them. Um, the Saharan one blush palette's a little dark for me. Actually, I think that's the only Juvia's Place palette I don't own <laughs> because it is a little dark for me. Um, I will be doing one more look out of this palette because like I said, I love this palette so, so much. And I like showing that, you know, we all know there's a lot of looks in here that you could do, but I think seeing it for people who maybe are beginners or haven't used these before, you know, get some ideas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you're planning on trying out this palette, what's your favorite colors? Because seriously, that one right there, oh, I'm telling you girls, look at that. So talk to you later.